Hey guys, I'm here to show you how I made this little uh, water bottle carrier. I made it because I um, was leaving my bottle behind. There's always somebody with the same kind of bottle and you don't know whose is his, whose. And when I carry it, I'm always dropping my bottle because my hands are full. So I made it with a little handle. This is uh, only um, shell stitches double crochets and chains. It's very simple. I will show you how I did it. I will start by <clears throat> showing you what I did purchase. I'm making today a blue one. This is an Aunt Lydia's Crochet Thread Classic 10 and this is size 10. All right, and for my hook, I'm going to be using this hook, which I got on eBay. It's double-ended. This has a 2.00 and a 3.00. You can find these online on eBay. They sell these um, like 10 or 12 to different sizes. Um, let me see if I grab it really quick and I show you. If you're interested in getting these as well. So let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so you get ten. They're all different sizes. And these are double ended, different sizes. And now it's not the crochet hooks that you use for doing a special type of crocheting where the needles are both the same on each side and you're just sliding the needle back and forth to work off each end. It's just regular crochet hooks. Just convenient that it actually has two sizes, bigger, smaller, to smallest. All right, with that being said, let me get started. So let's open up my crochet yarn, cotton. I made this the other day in desperation because like I said, I'm always missing, messing up, losing my water bottle, especially when I'm home with the family. Everybody's got a bottle and it's like, was this mine, was this yours? And nobody wants to take nobody else's, so it always ends up in the garbage. Okay, let's see where we start here. That's pretty well hidden. Alright. So I'm going to come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. Like I've said in my other video, I am not a crochet professional or advanced or anything. I just wanted to, actually I started crocheting in a, like um, November. My mom got in an accident and my dad, really serious, my mom had to end up in rehabilitation. So she needed a hat for when it was cold to go to a doctor's appointment. Okay, so I just did a slip stitch uh, um, crochet knot. Let me see if I can get closer. So I'm going to chain three. It's a little hard to get it started. Now this video isn't to teach you how to crochet. It's just to show you how I came up with my water bottle bag design. So I think I'll do four stitches. This is very simple, very basic, and you're going to repeat the exactly the same thing all the time. It's just chains and double crochets. So now I just took and I inserted my hook 
into the first chain and I'm going to do a slip stitch and connect it. Now I'm going to do three chains. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do 12, well it's going to be 11 because we're going to be counting this as our first double crochet. So we're going to do 11 double crochets into the center of our circle we just made. It's one, let's say two. Three. Four. Now, as you can see, I've done four so far. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on to get to the end, and I'll come right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I just did 11 double crochets, and I'm going to do my 12. Get some yarn going here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count three chains up. One, two, three. Whoops. Sorry. I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to slip my stitch, I mean my hook into the third chain. I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And in that same stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And from now on, we've created 12, so now we need to get a total of 24. So for every, for every um, chain, we're going to do two double crochets. All right, you see here? So we have four in the first chain. We did three chains, double crochet. Went into the next stitch, did two double crochets. We're gonna go all the way around and I'll meet you at the back. Okay guys, I finished doing 24 stitches. Started off with 12, now we were on 24. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. Count one, two, and three and go into the third chain. We're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do a double crochet. So that counts as two stitches. And now in the third stitch we're going to do an increase of two double crochets. Okay guys, so we're done with this um, third row and on this third row we ended up with a, turtle, a total of 36 double crochets. Um, I'm going to show you um, how this is going to work out. I'm just trying to get the glare out of here. So the first row, like I said, is 12. Second row is 24. The next row is 36. Then the following row is 48. Then the next row is 60. So we're going to have a total of 60. So the way it works is uh, double crochet for 12. I mean, for 12 then it's like I said I'm sorry I'm trying to get this in here well you get it here and you understand if you can understand that and then I will show you so oops trying to figure out how to do this all right so it's 12 24 36 48 and 60. So for each row that we're making, 
we're doing an increase of one stitch in between. All right, so let me get back to that for you. So we're going to go into the third chain again, do a slip stitch. I'm going to do three chains, one, two, three, then we're going to go into the next chain and we're going to do another double crochet. Then we're going to go into the next chain, I mean into the next stitch chain, and we're going to do two double crochets. Let's get that out of the way. Then we're going to do again two double crochets. And then we're going to be doing two double crochets in the next stitch. And we'll be doing that going all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've joined my third chain with a slip stitch so we can start the next row. And for the next row we're going to be doing 60 stitches. So I chain three come into the next stitch do a double crochet come to the next stitch we'll do a double crochet so we'll do three double crochets in three of the stitches and then the next one is two double crochets into the next stitch Then we'll do three double crochets in the next three chains. And then we'll do in the next stitch two double crochets. So in every row we've just increased by one single crochet. First row is one double crochet, second row is two double crochets, third row is three double crochets. So it's these are singles, then we added one, uh, these are double crochets in each chain, then we added one double crochet with two double crochets, then two double crochets, single, then we increased with the two, uh, we did a two double crochet. If I get confusing, I'm sorry, but you'll understand. I'll, sh I'll give you a, a diagram at the end. All right, so we're going to continue doing this all the way around till we get a total of 60, and I'll meet you at okay, the guys, end. Okay, guys, we're done with our last row. Now we're going to continue and start doing our shell. So it's one, two, three, and the same chain. I'm going to do, again, a double stitch. I'm going to chain one and do two double crochets in that same stitch for a total of four. Then I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five. There's a four. Let me see. Can't tell. One, two, three, four. It's very hard to crochet with this cotton one I'm used to using. Um, just regular yarn. So again, we're going to create a shell here. 
I already did a double uh, crochet. We're going to end up with four. So it's one double crochet, two double crochet, chain one. In the same stitch, we're going to create two double crochets again. Then we're going to count again four over one, two, three, four, and we're going to do another double crochet here. Chain one, again two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, and we're going to repeat this doing eight rows of these. So I'll meet you in the back and then I'll show you how I go up the next stitch. Okay guys, I have done my shell stitches all the way around. Now I'm going to come into my third chain as I've done before. One, two, three. I'm going to insert my needle. I'm going to do a slip stitch. And now I need to end up in the middle of my shell here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet the next stitch over and I'm going to come in the middle of that one chain and do another single crochet, a slip stitch rather, sorry. Then I'll do another three chains. Then I will do a double crochet. Remember that the three chains acts as one chain. I mean one double crochet. So I'll do a um, single crochet and two double crochets in that same spot. Then I'm going to come to the next shell in the center. I'm going to do two double crochets. One single crochet and then in the same shell I'll do another two double crochets. And then I'm going to come to the next shell in the middle. Again, we're going to be repeating this throughout the entire row for eight rows exactly doing the same exact thing. We're not doing any increases at this point, we're just building it up. All right. Now, just want everybody to remember, I'm not a crocheter. I just know two or three stitches and I'm just recreating this because somebody asked me to. All right, so I'll meet you when we're done with these eight rows of double crochets. I mean, double crochet shells. You can see it's starting to go upwards. And before I move on, I just want to say I like using this cotton only because it's nice and thin and when you put your bottle down, your bottle's not wobbly and falling over. All right, I'll see you when I'm done with these rows. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm done with my eight uh, rows of shells. Now we're going to continue to make this little netting here. What we're going to do is, I'm going to chain three up. Then we're going to do three to go across. That's a total of six. Then we're going to do a double crochet in between the shells. Chain three. Do a double crochet in between the shells. And we're going to continue to do this till I come back to the end over here and I'll show you what we do next. Alright guys, I finished my first row so now we're over to the end. I have three chains on here, six here, so we're going to go into the third chain, one, two, three. 
we're going to do a slip stitch we're going to chain again six chains one two three four five six and then on th on the top of this double crochet we're going to go and create a double crochet and we'll do another three chains and then we're going to go into the top of the double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around creating six chains double crochet, three chains, double crochet, double crochet, three chains, double crochet, and we're going to do about eight rows of these in total, and I'll see you when we're done with the eight rows. Hey guys, I finished my eight rows of the netting. Now we're going to go back and do our shell stitches. So what I'm going to do is, this is where I finished off, now I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single crochet into the middle which is my third chain and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three chains like we did before then a double crochet then a single crochet, I mean a chain, then we're going to go back into the center and do two double crochets. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the next and on the third chain we're going to insert the needle and we're going to create a double crochet. We're going to do this again like we did in the beginning that's one two one chain back into the same chain and we're gonna do two more double crochets Alright, so here we have the beginning of our last rows of our shells. This one has one, two, three, four, five, five rows. I think I'm going to add more to this one just, in, just for taller bottles. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll do maybe six. Alright, I'll see you when I'm completed and we're going to proceed to go to the handle. Alright guys. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished my last row of shells. As you could see, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. On this one I had one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna start on the handle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do chain three. And in the center of the shell, we're going to do another shell two double crochets one chain two double crochets okay now what we're going to do is on the last chain we're going to do a double crochet Okay, so we have three going up, three chains going up, two double crochets, a chain, two double crochets, and on the last double crochet, we did a double crochet, a single. So now we're going to do three chains, we're going to turn it over, and we're going to repeat 
two double crochets one chain two double crochets and on the third chain over here we're going to we're going to make our double crochet so now we have two shells three chains and a double and a double crochet again we're going to take three chains we're going to turn our project over and we're going to create another shell. We're going to do this for about 30, 30 um, shells or more depending on how long you want your strap. I think I'll be doing like 30. If not, maybe a little longer, but we'll count it at the end and I'll tell you how many I did. Okay guys, I finished crochet crocheting my um, shells. I did a total of 36 um, shells. Let me just pull it back a little bit so you can see better. So I did 36. You can make it as to go over your shoulder. You can make it um, short like I did here. Um, you can make the body of the bottle longer. Add more shell. Just customize it to what you want it. I just wanted to show you the basic pattern. So now that I did that, I finished. Now what I want to do is I want to sew in the the handle, connect it. So what I've done is I've finished my last chain. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I've already cut my crochet yarn and I just am going to pull it through. I have a long enough piece of cotton here, cotton thread. So we're going to just sew it over here. So I'm going to put the cotton through the needle. I'm going to find the center. The way I'm doing it is I'm folding it in half and I'm going to come to the opposite side. So this is where my shell is that matches. So I'm going to make sure that it's not twisted, that it's nice and straight because I have done that in the past where I've made something and I did I had it twisted so I had to do everything. So this is where this is where my shell shells meet. So basically I'm just going to match up the stitches that I did so I'm going to come in here And I'm going to just do what's called the little whip stitch that's going in and out, in and out. Just going around and around, matching the stitches to the sh previous shell. And this is the center. So I'm grabbing the center chain and bringing it to the center chain from the opposite side. Now I'm going into the next chain. going into the next chain which is the first of the second two double crochets. Now in making this here I would recommend you do a good a good job and I mean good job I mean secure job in reality because this is going to be what's going to hold the weight of the water bottle you're going to be carrying. So now I'm going to the last one and I'm going into the third chain of the last st 
stitch here. Let me see. I want to grab at least two of the loops because I want it to be. Sh I want to make sure. Let me see. You see, I have the two V's here from the chain. I want to make sure that it's strong enough. you guys have enjoyed um, this little tutorial and you share it with your friends like I said in the video I am just learning again my mom is a crocheter a master at what she used to do but with age and whatnot traditions gotten lost so I'm trying to pick up whatever I can I'm going back the opposite way. And let's um, think it's an art that at one point or another we should all try and learn. And this was very, very simple. As I said, it's just double crochets and chains. Single crochet, chains, and that's it. Now I'm coming back to the end. And I think it's something that um, we should all keep as tradition. Can't be buying everything. It's more personal when you make it yourself. And it's something you can pass down. All right now I'm making a knot at the end. I've secured it well, as you could see. And I'm just going to come along and snip off the end. I did do like three or four knots here. So that's going to hold up very well. Now I'm just going to pop a water bottle in here so you could see how it looks. I'll pull the camera back a little bit so you could see it well. And here you go. This is my completed project. Well guys, I again I hope you've enjoyed this and you tried at home. If you make them, share it with me. I'd love to see what you've made. Um, another thing before I go, the caps, you can actually insert them in here so you don't lose them. So here you are. You have everything to keep your bottles with you all the time and know which is yours and not drop it all the time. All right, guys, thank you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends uh, leave me comments as far as technical terms of crocheting and whatnot uh, I'm not that good at that but I'll do my best to answer your questions thank you again